Hey y'all, it's your girl Kaylin Ryan here at Disney's premiere of Better Nate Than Ever. This movie is set to be a spectacular showcase of Broadway magic and chasing your dreams. <laughs> and we're color coordinated, you can see this yeah, way. we love it. Okay, well let's get serious. <laughs> know that you're on High School the Musical, the musical. The series. The series, how is that? Just being a part of such an iconic franchise from back in the day when we were kids learning dance moves in our living room, at least I was, my sister and I. But how is it to be a part of it now today? Wow, it's still mind-blowing. I'm so grateful for the opportunity and I'm so grateful to be able to perform with so many amazing talents. I mean, everyone in my cast is not only kind, but literally talented. <laughs> and it's just, it's literally, it's been a dream come true and I, I thank God every single day. I hear you speaking of God and thanking Jesus. How important is God, girl? We're here. Okay. We're here. Yeah, we are. <laughs> okay. So how important, I can't, I would be remiss to not ask you this, how important is your relationship with Christ and you pursuing your dreams and how he's influenced your decisions and your choices? Um, he is in every step I take. I would not be here without him. Okay. Um, I have seen a lot in my past and I've been through it a lot and I, excuse me, I'm, I'm over here about to cry. I'm like, hold on, wait a second. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I've, I've been through a couple things and I would not have been able to do it without him and I, I thank God that I'm here every day and get down on my knees and pray, okay? I don't think it's a mistake that you're glowing, that you're shining, you. that your outfit is the sun. You are So walk us through this outfit that you chose for the premiere, Better Nate Than Ever. Okay, um, this was very much a last minute. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you. Oh yeah, real snap. Ah, there he is. We love it, we love it. Um, I actually got this jacket. Um, from one of my favorite stores. Um, I don't know if I can say it because it's um, it's a reasonable store. Yeah, we'll keep it under wraps, yeah. but know that she very much is balling on a budget and we love to see it, okay? Um, but yes, I got this dress. This dress is actually one of my favorite dresses. I loved it because I'm in match my hair and yes. these shoes are my yes. favorite. And yeah. I knew they were popping when my mom looked at them and said, are you sure you can walk in those? And I was like, of course. Right, I was like, watch me. your crown, your hairstyle. Oh my gosh, yes. I've, we, we love it. <laughs> um, I had been growing my hair for so long and um, um, I love wearing an afro. I love it. I feel it. I love just exploring the different beautiful variations of black hair and um, I'm just so grateful that I can keep it popping. Yes, okay? Because yes, we love to see it and you're popping as well. Oh, we love to see it. Hello. Hi. Love the pink. Thank you. Love the, I love that you let her shine. You pick more of the warm colors. Let her, yeah. There it is. Oh. Well, there it is, married life. So let's just touch on that automatically. I know that you are happily married, it comes across, in real life. So how is that to play a couple on television? Yeah, it was really, really fun. Pretty easy. Really? Just, no. <laughs> for real? Is it weird crossing the boundaries w from work and home, where you work together for this film, and then also you had to go home together, playing the same role? To be honest with you, yes, I thought it was going to be hard, yeah. and it wasn't hard. <laughs> Oh, it was cool. not hard at all. I, I was too. Yeah. I, when we first got cast, I said uh, we're either going to be divorced by Christmas or it's going to be a blast. And it was really, really <laughs> fantastic. You know, you, you, when you're in a long-term relationship, you know, we love being together, but we also like going to do our own thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Our own paths, our own identities. And yeah. this one was like, seriously, I thought yeah. like, I didn't know what to think. And I hadn't worked with you in 20 years. We met doing a Broadway show. We were a showmance, you know, so... Yeah. Show. We love the show. Yeah, yeah. So for you all to meet on Broadway and now be parents in a Broadway featured film, what type of full circle moment is that? How wonderful is that? Super cool, man. And it's really moving. We both see a lot of ourselves in this character of Nate. You know, we were both nerdy theater kids who wanted to sing super loud in the shower and just had this ambition and this energy and, and this spirit. And knew that you didn't really fit in. Yeah, and then, you know. Yep. So it was very moving to me when we read the, the Tim's book and then Definitely the script, you know. We still haven't seen it though, man. We haven't yeah. seen it. So this is new to you guys as well. No, we just came in for a few days and played the dumb dead, you know, and then, <laughs> but then I hear these kids are amazing, so I can't wait to see what they did. I just want to speak on this crown, the locks. Yeah, what made you go with burgundy? I love colors for one, so what made you choose this color? Well, for my birthday, well, I love colors. I've done green, I've done blue highlights. Oh my gosh, we're on the same, yeah, but I've done so many colors and I was like, 
I was trying to do purple. They didn't have purple. So I was like, oh, let's do red because that was my other option anyway. And I've stuck with it for months oh, since. This is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. And then you paired it with another power cover color and a power suit at that. This green moment with the white detailing. I'm sorry that I'm getting more into the outfit than the movie, but this is what I'm focused on right now. But let's get back to why we're here tonight. Speak to your role being a friend of someone chasing their dreams and how important is friendship in moments like that with a peer that's trying to pursue something beyond their wildest dreams. I don't feel like I would be where I am without my support system, without my friends and family, and without the support of people who love you. Yeah. So I think Libby's role and his her support for Nate is so important throughout this movie. Yeah. I saw you here with your beautiful family. So speak to their support and them being here tonight to see your debut on screen tonight for this movie. I think we're all going to get emotional pretty soon. Like this is crazy because they've sacrificed so much. I'm glad they got to be here to enjoy it with me because they sacrificed so much for me and my career and they always miss the moments like this. So I'm glad they get to be here. And you're only getting started. You look like you're like 10 years old, but you hold yourself with such poise. So I'm really proud of you. I just met you, but I'm really proud of you. And I'm really excited to see your character on screen. His eyes match his shirt. So I just want everybody to get into that detailing. His eyes, they made the shirt after his eyes. So I just want to- I invented hazel? Yeah, you definitely did. Yeah, you patented it. Yeah, definitely. Well, let's speak. This is a huge night for you because you're the writer. So speak to what made you want to write something that showcases a kid chasing their dreams on Broadway. Yeah. Does that speak to an inner child that you once were? I was Nate. I mean, I was a 13-year-old from Pittsburgh who dreamed of getting somewhere that would accept him. And uh, ultimately, it's like a big family adventure, movie, comedy. But I think there's a, a piece of identity at its core for Nate that he's discovering who he is in real time. And I got to make exactly the movie I wanted to make and, and find the perfect cast. And so I'm excited for people to discover it. But a reboot, you mean like they hire other actors? Yes, ma'am. Oh, if there was a reboot, would you be for it? Yeah. I would. I would love to see what the, like, what the now version of that would be. Definitely. 